Hi guys, welcome back to the web. In today's segment, we are going to look at Samsung. This article is brought to you by CNET. And CNET states that Samsung unpacked its Galaxy Book Pro, Pro 360 and more. Here comes the Galaxy Book Pro and Pro 360 laptop more like smartphones announced at the company's April Unpacked event. It's only April and we're already up to Samsung's third Galaxy Unpacked event of 2021. This one wasn't about phones though. It launched the company's lesser known, at least in the US, Galaxy Book laptops. Today's new models start at $999 for the Galaxy Book Pro and 1199 for the Pro 360 and new budget Galaxy Book and Mainstream 1399 Galaxy Book Odyssey gaming laptop. The Galaxy Book are Samsung's line of laptops designed for more connected operation, thin, light and intended to work with the rest of the company's products, including its smart things, smart home tech. This year, the company highlighted seamless operation between Windows and Android, and overall it now sounds eerily like Apple's ecosystem, but with the extra perk of touchscreens that make it even more phone-like. The Galaxy Book and Galaxy Book Pro models were designed in conjunction with Microsoft and Intel and bear Intel's EVA brand for its current gen. Light and responsive laptops intercorporating Thunderbolt 4 up to an 11th gen core i7, Wi-Fi 6E and processing optimized for conferencing. Intel says it's the thinnest EVO design yet. Samsung claims they weigh only 2.2 pounds, including the charger. The Galaxy Book Pro is a clamshell, while the Pro 360 is, as you might expect, a two-in-one. Both come in 13 and 15 inch and gold, blue, or bronze. Both incorporate OLED displays with Samsung's built-in low blue light technology. The Pro 360 supports the S Pen stylus, which is bundled. They have Mac OS-like live wallpaper that changes with the time of day. The keyboard has lower travel at one millimeter but refined scissor switches for better bounce samsung claims you'll be able to get 16 hours of work time out of the denser battery and up to eight hours and a 30 minute charge the latter is an eva requirement while they're optimized for portability and have updated noise cancelling mics, they still have only 720p webcams. And while the Pro 360 incorporates 5G, it won't be coming to the US until later. The 15 inch Galaxy Book also bumps up an 11th gen Intel Core CPUs and has 4G LTE connectivity. A new Galaxy Book Odyssey goes with RTX 3050 Ti and 11th gen Tiger Lake. They won't be available in the US initially either, though the Odyssey is expected to start shipping here in August. The last Galaxy Book were announced in October 2019 but most didn't ship until May 2020. The new models are shipping much sooner. There is a lot of syncing among the Galaxy devices via proprietary apps. That to me 
looks like start menu bloat there's an individual app for everything just like a phone though they are the same apps as on the phones photos natively integrates with OneDrive use your Samsung tablet as a second screen and drag and drop files between devices thank you guys so much for listening this is it from CNET and I hope this was actually informative and you guys actually learned something about Samsung and their new devices I know I was informed stay blessed and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out